and viewers, and welcome to the first name segment of Beth vs. Kitchen! Yay! Call is here to help make sure I don't blow things up. <laughs> Egg separator has a face on it. Look, it's so cute. Cracking them eggs. What? Put the pants on. <laughs> Please. I'm gonna say hi to the internet, Chris. <laughs> hi, internet. How's it going? I was hoping, uh, maybe later. If you're not busy, we could, uh, you know, never mind. <laughs> Chris, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> gotta do it to the camera. I did it to the camera. Do you need to do it again? That was a very passive voice, Holly. So, <laughs> have you ever watched instructional videos on YouTube? But this is me. I'm not an, I'm not an instructional video on YouTube. This is a Holly baking thing, like... I'm gonna do <laughs> how I want to do it. This is my kitchen right here. That's my case. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna do it over here. sit and chill and get to know each other and mostly because I just don't need it yet. It's one stick. One stick of butter. Whoa! Hi! So earlier on we made um, some sour milk and we put one cup of milk and one tablespoon of vinegar, distilled vinegar. We need one and a third cups now of the mixture. So we're pouring some out and making bottom out. The one and one third cups of sour milk is going into the mixture with a half cup of butter. go in the mixer. We have four egg whites going into this mixture. You can't make egg whites, we're not chickens. <laughs> we took a guesstimated amount of the batter out of the mixer and now we're going to dye it pretty colors for the polka dots. Does this look edible? Like, would you actually eat this? It it's looks, fun. Looks like a five-year-old made this color. Well, mine's really dark, so maybe they'll balance each other out. Here. I wanted them, like, pale and pretty, and now it's like... Boom! Color. That's like a black death. <laughs> Two colors we're using for our polka dots are this really dark black death purple and then this like toxic looking <laughs> blue. So we're just gonna put a thin layer of batter on the bottom. This is the best of the cake pops. It is Saturn. Look at it wow. now! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Look at the glorious cake pops! Ah! Now we put them in the cake. Huzzah! It's going in the oven! 350. In the oven at 350 degrees for however long it takes. So, uh, this is our cake. It's a cake. It looks like it has the plague. The black balls of death are a real thing. <laughs> it's the plague! We made a plague cake. <laughs> Cake. We're not gonna frost it tonight because it's it's midnight almost, almost. and I'm tired. And we're tired. Tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Jump cut. <laughs> hey guys. So about that cake, <laughs> um, Holly and I totally never finished it. <laughs> we kind of like ran out of time that night and then ran out of time that weekend and then we forgot to cover it and it got kind of stale and crunchy and not appetizing at all. So. There's that. I'm going to have to say that the first segment of Beth vs. Kitchen definitely ended with the kitchen winning. <laughs> oh.
Hopefully in the very near future, Holly and I will be cooking something else delicious for you that is not plague worthy. Okay, bye. It doesn't even look like it tastes good. The Black Plague. It's not even a polka dot cake. It's the Black Plague cake. We just renamed it.